Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, we will talk about the separated letters or the huruf muqatta'a in the Quran. And we will cover the whole huruf muqatta'a in the whole Quran with details and very simple way. For further information, you could message me direct on WhatsApp link here or in the description. If this the first video for you, so I am Niveen Asam, the author of the Tajweed Guide to Read Riot Books, Part 1, 2, and recently the kids' book, which you will find them all available in Amazon and Lulu. I will put also the link in the description. So let's get started. The Huruf Muqatta'a, that means the letters that you find it in some surahs like Surah Al-Baqarah, uh, at the beginning of the surah, you will find it this letters the alif, lam, and meme, or ya and seen in surah yasin, or noon in surah al qalam. The hint to pronounce these surahs or these letters is to pronounce them as you are spelling the letters of the alphabet with saying the name of each letter separately. So I won't read this word as alam because normally we use the sound of the letter with fatha, dhamma, kasra, we say a, e, u, or la, li, lu. So we don't use this in these letters, but we use the name of the letters. So if you see these letters, this is letter alif, this is letter lam, and letter mim. So you put the name of the letters together and you apply the rules of the tajweed when you read them. And inshallah we will learn how inshallah in the next page so the letters or the huruf al muqatta'a exist in the 29 surahs of the quran and as any rules of tajweed the ulama put the rules into a small phrase or sentence to make it easy to remember so the whole 14 or 20 14 letters they put them in this uh, sentence which we call it nassun hakimun qat'an lahu sir so that means the letters noon, sad, ha, kaf, ya, meem, qaf, ta, ayn, alif, lam, ha, sin, and then dhra. So the whole letters exist in this phrase. Then we divide these letters into another four groups due to how to pronounce these letters. So the first group, as you see the letter alif, as in Surah Al-Baqarah here. So when we pronounce the word alif, it will be written like this. Alif, hamza, fatha, lam, kasra, then fa. So the three letters has no mat. So you can't stretch it. I can say alif or something. And that's why in all the surah that has alif, you don't stretch the alif. You just read alif. Then we have other group that consists of two letters when you write them. And the ulama put it in this phrase, Hayyun Tahur, means the letter Ha, Ya, Ta, Ha, and Ra. So when I ask you what is the name of this letter, you tell me this is letter Ha. We don't say Ha, you don't put Hamza at the end, or Ya, no, we just say Ha, Ya, Ta, Ha, and Ra. So these five letters. If you find them in any surah, you just stretch them harakatain or two vowel counts. So you just say ha, like the beginning of surah Yasin. You will find the letter ya, then the letter C. The letter ya from this group, so it will be only two counts. So I read it like this Yasin. So the letter C longer. Why? It's not belonging to the group of Hayyun Tahr. So what is the group of the scene? It belongs to this group. This group, the ulama put it in this sentence, Sana qussu lakum, or sometimes when they add the ayn with the group, they said, Naqusa asalukum. So in some uh, Tajweed books, you will find they divided this group into only three groups, adding the ayn with them, or if you want more details, we will make it four groups, and the ayn will make it separate and you will know why now. So this group of sana qussu lakum, each letter from this group, if you write them down, you will find that it consists of three letters. And the middle always mad letter, and the last letter is second letter. 
So the first is letter C. So when you stretch it, you stretch it six count. This is type of med lazim harfi. You stretch the ya six count. So you deal with this letter as a word consists of seen kasra ya mad the noon sack. The same thing with the letter noon. How you pronounce noon or how you say the word noon? It's noon. So it's noon dhamma wow mad the noon sack. The letter after is qaf. Qaf fatha alif mad and fa sack. Then the letter sad. Sad fatha alif mad dal sack. So it's like a separate word. Each word consists of three letters. Then lam, like lam fatha, alif mad, and then me. Kaf fatha, alif mad, then fa. Kaf or meem. Meem kasra, ya mad, then meem sakin. So this group, the ulama put it in this phrase to memorize it. Sana qussu lakum. All of them, you have to stretch them six vowel counts or sit the harakat. Mad lazim harfi sit the harakat. And sometimes you could uh, merge it, so we call it harfi muthaqal, or not merge it, so it's harfi muhaffaf. And we know we will know now what is the difference between muthaqal and muhaffaf. The ain is different because the ain. If we write it down as a word, you will find Ain Fatha, not Ain Kasra, it's not Ain. So Ain Fatha, Ya Sakin, then Noon. So this type of Ya with Sukun sign, we call it Liniya. This is Lean Mat. So that means it has option to do with four or six. So you have the option to stretch it four counts or six counts. Okay. So let's see now with details how to pronounce these letters. So all the letters you will find it in these two tables in the video. So the first is the word or the letters in Surah. Of course, here you will find all the, the Surah's name. Surah Al-Baqarah, Al-Imran, Al-Ankabut, Al-Rum, Luqman, and Sajda. These six letters start with the same beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah. The letters Alif Lam Mi. So how to write to read them or recite them? As we said, try to take each letter and write them separately. So first I will write down the word Alif. Take care here, the colored refer to the rules. So when you will find all with the Alif in green because nomad. The red means six counts. The blue means two counts. So I will write the word alif, nomad in this word. Then the word lam, which I will stretch it six count. Then the word mim. But I have to apply the tajweed rules. So when I write down the word lam, it ends with mim sec. And when I write the word mim, it starts with mim kasra. So there is rules in tajweed related to of course the rules of meme second rules so when meme second followed by other meme we apply the idgham shafawi with gunna so that means you will read the lamb six count then you do the gunna for idgham shafawi then another six count so i will read it like this alif lam Alif nomad, lam six count, then gunna, then meme six count. So no, now you know how to read these letters in all these six words. The other group, or in Surah Al-A'raf, the same alif, lam, meme, but you will add the letter sad. So it's the same thing, but you said sad at the end, and you apply also the, the rules of tajweed. That means that the sod end is with dal, so you apply the qalqala like normal tajweed rules. Any qutb jad letters, if you stop on them or they have sukun, you apply the qalqala. So it will be like this. Alif lam mim. 
ص and this is in Surah Al-A'raf or chapter 7 uh, also before I forgot the, the, the letter or the difference between Muthaqqal and Mukhaffaf the lamb here when you add uh, or followed by Meme you have to do Idgham so because of the Idgham the lamb is called Mad Lazim Harfi Muthaqqal due to the Idgham but the letter Meme there is no idgham after or no other letter after so we call it mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf so muthaqqal if there is idgham in the middle mukhaffaf if there is no idgham so the same lamb here and the next example both of them is harfi muthaqqal because of the idgham the meme here followed by sad and no idgham happened here so both of them mim and sad mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf the third example here there is lam alif lam also the same thing but the letter after lam is ra if you remember the ra from the group that you stretch it only for two counts it's from the group of hayyun tahur and that's why it's a blue and no idgham now so the same lamb here, but because no idgham, it become mukhaffaf. So the lamb here is still six count, but the type of uh, mad here, we call it mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf. Why? Because no idgham happened. So I will read it like this. Alif, lam, ra. Ra, only two counts. And you can't do any ghunna or something. So the alif, no mad. The lambs, mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf, six count. Then the ra, mad tabi'i harfi, two counts. If you know how to read it, that means you know how to read these letters in all these surahs. Surah Yunus, Hud, Yusuf, Ibrahim, and Al-Hijr. Chapter 10, 11, 12, 14, and 15. The next Alif lam meme the same like the second one but you add ra so the same thing and this is in surah al ra so you read it like this alif without mad then lam six count and meme six count plus the idgham shafawi that we apply between the meme and me meme second followed by another meme it's idgham shafawi with ghunna then ra mad tabi'i harfi like this alif lam mim ra and this is in surah al ra chapter 13 the next one is a bit difficult because it's in the surah maryam and there is lots of letters so first we try to analyze each letter so it has the letter kaf this is from the group of six mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf six count then ha ya from the group of hayyun tahur only two counts then ayn we will do it six as we said you have option to do four or six but we will apply the six as the kaf and salt then salt six count and the qalqala on the day between the noon and sod, we apply the rules of tajweed. So this belongs to the noon second rules. And inshallah, if you want more details about noon rules, you will find videos that talk about the noon rules. So if the noon followed by sod, this means ikhfa haqiqi bi ghunna. Or ikhfa bi ghunna. So I have to apply ghunna here. And the ghunna will be heavy because the sod is heavy letter. <clears throat> so I will say it like this. <laughs> Take care of the ghunna. Try to make it heavy because the ghunna next to the sod. The sod is heavy letter. So the ghunna is not ayin. No, I so I move to heavy sound or heavy runna before I pronounce the salt. Then 
you do the mat, then the gunna. After you finish the mat and the gunna starts the salt. From mistakes that happen here, that you uh, the some do the ayn very short, then they stretch the gunna only. They could say I um, this is gunna. I need six counts. So before you move to the gunna, finish the six counts in the ayn. I you see, you see this yeah and this is stretching you have to finish it six count then after six count move to the gunna okay so you say I now I start the gunna then so okay I hope it's easy now to do it and also for, for more practice you could listen to the Ayah at the beginning of Surah Maryam for many times or to perfect all these try to listen a lot from any famous part you like until you perfect how to do it and do the same lengthening as the Qari do this is Surah Maryam chapter 19 the next in Surah Taha the name of the Surah Taha and the beginning start with these two letters so these two letters from the group of Hayyun Tahur so both of them met Tabi'i Harfi and that's why we just say Taha we can't stretch it longer than them so this is Surah Taha chapter 20 next the Surah Ash-Shu'ara and Al-Qasas or chapter 26 and 28 start with letter Ta letter Sin and Meme if we write them down, so we'll find that the ta belongs to the group of Hayyun Tahur, only two counts, Mad Tabi'i. The Sin and Meme, the Mad Lazim, and both of them will be six. Uh, between the Sin and Meme, we apply the rules of Noon again. It's Noon followed by letter Meme, so that means I have to apply Idram Birunna here. And due to the Idram, the Sin will be Mad lazim harfi muthaqqal. The meme has no idram after or nothing happened to the meme, so it's mukhaffaf. Mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf. Both of them six count, but only the name is different. If there is idram, it's muthaqqal. If there is no idram in the letter, we call it harfi mukhaffaf. Of course, mad lazim means you have to do it six count. Harfi means in a letter. The letter in Arabic is called harf. So harfi means existing letter and muthaqal means due to idram. Mukhaffaf means no idram. So I will read it like this. The next example is the same but you drop the me. So it's only ta and letter seen. So due to this, as we see in this example, there is seen in the example also we have seen, but this one is muthaqqal because due to the meme after we apply idram, but this scene no idram happened, so it become in this case mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf. So the same letter, the scene here could be muthaqqal or mukhaffaf due to the idram or the letter that comes after. So only the first example we apply idram so it become muthaqqal but in this example and the next example in Surah Yasin no letter comes after seen so both of them mad lazim harfi mukhaffaf. So I will read both of them. The first one you just this is ta and you change it into ya. Yeah. The same thing. So I will read the one in Surah An-Nam, chapter 27, and in Surah Yasin, chapter 36. So this one, Tasin, the Surah Yasin, Yasin. Very easy, inshallah. The next is Surah Saad, chapter 38. And the surah, the name of the surah Saad, and it starts with the letter Saad. So you write down the letter Saad with three letters. The last letter is Dal, so you apply six count, then the Qalqala. 
So you say it like this. Sod. And remember to do the sod heavy sound or with full mouth. And the del light sound with qalqala. Okay, the next group, the group of hamim. And this group, the they call it al-hawamim. Because they exist in seven surah from the back these seven surah after each other and they start with hamim so they call it the hawamim group which is surat ghafir fussilat al zukhruf al dukhan al jathiyah al ahqaf and al shura chapter 40 41 43 44 45 46 and the 42 so in this part we just say the ha two counts because it belongs to the group of hayyun tahur. I repeat this sentence a lot to memorize it. Hayyun tahur means ha ya ta ha and ra. Or these five letters, you pronounce this uh, letters two counts or uh, harakatayn. And the other group, the red group, uh, which belongs to uh, uh, the, the, the six letter mad lazim harfi muthakal or muhaffaf. So you pronounce it like this Hamim. Then the surah is shura. We start also with the letter Hamim plus ain, sin, and qaf. So we try to see the rules in these three letters Hamim, the same like the previous one. Ain, you pronounce it six count. As we said, madlin, it could be four or six. Then the sin, six count. The cough, six count. The ain ends with noon. And the letter after is sin. So you apply here the noon second rules, which is ikhfa bighunna. And the gunna must be light because the sin letter is light. Then the letter sin ends with noon and the letter qaf starts with qaf so another ikhfa but with heavy ghunna so make sure when you pronounce these three letters to apply the ghunna the first ghunna light or tarqiq the second ghunna heavy so i will read it like this hamim ayn si I hope you feel the difference between this ghunna and that one. The first was light. It's not It's not heavy. And the second. Because this ghunna is to heavy letter, so it must be heavy at the qaf. The next is in Surat Qaf. The, also the name of the surah is Qaf, chapter 50. And it starts with the letter Qaf. So Qaf from the group of Naqusa Asalukum or Sanaqusu Lakum means the six count. Mad Lazim Harfi Mukhafaf. I hope when I repeat something or the terminology in Arabic, you repeat it with me until you could memorize it and you could say it easily. So I will read it like this. Qaf. The last one is the letter Noon, and this is at the beginning of Surah Al Qalam or chapter 68. The same thing, it's from the group of six count or the Mad Lazim Harfi, so I will stretch it six count. Noon. With this letter, or this is the last surah. These two tables covered all the huruf muqatta'a in the whole Qur'an. So I hope you get benefits from the video. Please to support me. Try to share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in other videos. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.